Hello, Jembalf here and welcome back to Let's Play FTL, where I will take my last stand after rather strange events of teleporting from sectors to another game bugging out a bit on me. But uh, anyway, uh, with free hull strength left, I'm uh, going back to... Uh, or not going back, but going to the last sector and taking the last stand. You arrived. You arrive at the heart of the last Federation fleet. Your access codes get you past initial security and a direct feed to the capital ship's war room. Admiral Tully speaks first, saying, What is the meaning of this? Who are you? And I explain, I bring crucial data about the rebel fleet. Your explanation is met with murmurs of cynicism and disbelief among the officers. General Tursil of the NG Brigade speaks up. Intel suggests potential counter to rebel technology. Risk all or save none. There is a weakness in the rebel fleet. The rebel flagship. Tully responds. It's settled. The rebels will be here in a matter of moments. We will do what we can to hold off their warships, but you must succeed in destroying this flagship. We will refuel your ship now, and our stations will offer help whenever possible. Good luck. Uh, I was repaired a bit. I got 10 fuel. But the uh, downside of this is that I effectively skipped the whole Sector 7. Uh, and couldn't, couldn't collect uh, any scrap, upgrade my ship while on it. So uh, I don't exactly have everything I want here, but this is what we have now. And uh, let's at, at least make sure everyone is, everyone is okay. Almost killed my crew there to lack of oxygen. Way to go, <laughs> good start. Else is okay. Yes, I have 47 points that I could upgrade stuff with. There's no, no way I can get more weapon control. I could get maybe blast doors. Maybe maybe some additional power, so I don't need to fix them up so badly. Mm. The 15, seven, 15 seconds cloak is kind of tempting as well. Um. Let's see, this uh, last sector, which is now called Sector 7, even that it's actually <laughs> actually sector eight um, works in a different way. There's the rebel flagship, and uh, I need to interrupt it before it, it, it gets too close to the base. I need to avoid these uh, red ones because they uh, will be under rebel, rebel control after I wait or jump. And there are repair stations here that will repair me. So I need to utilize those, and if possible, I uh, probably need to fight this one close to one. Because uh, I'm not sure if we can escape from the from the fight, but if if I can, I I want to have the repair station right next to me. But first, uh, I will probably meet some more rebels here on the way to the repair repair station, whichever way I might go. And if I understand this correctly. The Rebel flagship will be here next time, so it seems to be heading down. I want to save my missiles against against that one, against the big ship. So I will probably try to use the halberd. Hopefully I can survive enough, uh, you know, uh, long enough so that I will actually get to fight the flagship and not just these uh, 
small ones. You don't have any time to worry about the battle in the distance. The fight is coming you to you really quickly. They have drones. They have defense drones. They have uh, similar burst laser, laser than I am, and then uh, some kind of uh, some kind of a ship. I will put power in my um, in my shields. I will probably use my cloak here a bit as well to dodge something. Uh, this. Beam drone is not worried to me. Not sure if that is a Mark 2 or Mark 1. There comes the free shots. And there comes a couple of more. Um, oh man, I kinda... They loaded their weapons faster than I thought. Those might actually hit, unless I dodge some. Seems that I did dodge something. Someone leveled up. My pilot is now a master. Well, good timing, friend. And this fire in the engine room. Great. Oh, they have four shields. I don't think... I don't know if I can do this without missiles. Especially if my burst laser keeps missing like that. So that fires... And that fires. Okay. Uh, this wasn't exactly as I planned, but... Uh, totally, totally wasted my... Totally wasted my resources there. You need to get healed up. My burst laser needs to hit spot on. Maybe then I can take something out from there. One miss is uh, already too much. Let's try the engine and uh, shield if I happen to get some hits through with Halbert. No, it's all in the shield. Mm, yeah. Can't beat this one without my missiles. I think. I kind of want to defeat this one instead of just running away. And this fire tear great. And I'm ready to fire. I'm uh, somehow totally out of focus now. Okay, that, that's not doing anything. I could jump now. Good. Nice to see some dodging happening. Okay. Time to 
occupied. Give me a little time on... Uh, healing us. They have the defense droid. <laughs> mm, yeah, this is like a this is like a nightmare. <laughs> I, I I feel like I should have not fired the game up today. Starting already with that uh, with that previous one and the game came bugging out strangely. Uh, I can't get to repair yet from here. Great. Uh, will I somehow fight this out? There's no way I can do that with that, with that damn drone there. Especially when stuff like that starts happening. Nice, a small automated scout. With huge missile, small missile and an iron cannon. Okay. Um, let's see what we can do. Okay, they got the fire out. I have my cloak up soon as well. Oh come on, they have a long cloak. And they fire everything. Well, in your face. Two can play that game. This and this. You think that it will disable some of your weapons? This is quite well powered scout. <laughs> I don't particularly look forward into getting hit by those missiles with uh, eight hull strength left. But that's how it'll be. On the other hand, what's what's for me to gain in here? If I can... Come on, Cloak. Before he comes out. Yes, I think I can do it. Nice. Okay. I think I can dodge those missiles once more. Good. Albert beam is ready. There we go. Anything else I need to do? Not really. So burst laser on the shield. It is out. Albert. Maybe that way. Ah, much better. Shields are down. That one missile thing is still there. Slightly worried about that one. Let's see, we're gonna fire faster. We'll 
a going to cloak. Yes, they do. Well, that's actually a good thing that they go into into the cloak, because that gives me time to reload my cloak and uh, dodge that missile, which will fire as soon as they come out of the cloak. It can still hit. I'm at 97 because Maria is not yet a master. <laughs> master on that one. Okay. Time to say hello and goodbye. Oh wow! Okay. I do get a whole lot from the the rebels here in this last map if I defeat them. Good to know. Didn't know that. Um, I definitely want my 15 second cloak. It will give me some options. Actually no. Are there, are there stores here in the last... Last map? I'll, at le I'll, be, I'll be on repairs now, and uh, looks like the flagship is on its way there. Uh, I don't see any stores, but... Uh, he's, a good, he's a good place to engage the flagship, that's for sure. I get 5 fuel, 4 missiles, 5 drone parts from a mobile ship construction platform stationed at this beacon. That's good. And they repair me. What if I jump? I don't see any stores, but I can, en can engage the mothership right there. So I uh, might as well upgrade. Last doors will help me. One additional weapon power. That would help me enable either Heavy Laser or Artemis to get her with the Burst Laser and Halberd Beam. But it's very costly. Hmm. Now I have the blast doors. That will help. Since I'm, I am going to fight the flagship on the next fight, so I might as well get something. I guess I will take power, so I can at least have everything up at once. For some reason I feel that the 15 second cloak is going to be a good thing. So that's what I take. Oh, that's what I took. <laughs> it does require more power than I have right now, so uh, I'm not sure if that was actually such a good idea. I think I will start with this kind of a setup. Try to do something with the missiles, unless the big one has some drones. I'm not in full condition, but uh, I'm next to a repair station, so I think I can return to this one. So here we go. This is it. The Rebel Flower. Oh shit, that's huge. That 
This is it, the Rebel flagship. If you are able to destroy this monstrosity, the Federation fleet will have a chance of surviving. There's no turning back. Okay. Um, and a cloak. And they have four different uh, weapon systems for each of these uh, humongous special strange weapons they have. And that is something. Seems like four, four of those do damage. Plasma shots, and that is three missiles. Hmm. That is a beam. That's that's some sort of an iron, iron. Cannon. Um, these missiles will hurt. But on the other hand, so I, I want to fire before I start using the cloak. So kind of, kind of hoping here that I'm fast enough. At least one misses. They hit straight for the hull. Kind of forgot about that. We got we got it down to two shields. Now that's fascinating. At the same time our shields took some iron. Iron damage. I should have should have dodged that one. They have two shields. Could go with burst laser and halberd beam. After this next volley, can you go repair that one? About opening the blast doors to even out the oxygen there. Just when they cloak. Okay, there's just one shot incoming. No. Okay, that's some hull damage. Right. Oh, shoot. So you do fire from cloak. Should have used the cloak. Uh, now there's fire in there. And the beam hits us. Shields are partly out. I'm not that afraid of the iron, iron cannon, but I will dodge something else if I get the chance. Uh, I'm kind of happy that I got them down to one shield, but I'm not out of trouble yet. Those shots at least have a chance to get stuck on my shields. Good. I will dodge the missiles next time, that's for sure. I would like to get shots out before that. Their shields are out. So that's better.
better. Go help with that one. Western here, you go heal up. Thinking of it, now's my chance to really use. Miles, that's going to hurt. Yeah, not not fast enough. I'll keep firing there. I don't think I can take down those ones, so I will uh, just help her to beam right there. Yeah, that's going to hurt, but I'm hurting them as well. Just three left, I have... Um, as soon as the iron blast goes out, I have a chance. Uh, that might hurt me, actually. I don't have a shield up. Yeah, I need to, I need to dodge this one. This time. Gives me time to get the engines and uh, shields back up from the iron blast. Just as you finally gained upper hand, it finds a way to make an FDL jump. In its new state, it will have to get closer to the base to be a threat. You've bought some time, but you've got to keep up the assault. So yeah, it's uh, it's not over over that easy. Um, okay, I will uh, wait. Wait here that everything gets in order again. Let's uh, power up those. Um, is everyone okay actually? Charlie. Even the pilot took some hits. So everyone is ready now, and we are getting ready for the round two with that uh, huge beast. 
And uh, since it's jumping there, I have a chance to go back to my... Uh, back to the repair station, at least I think so. And four, four jumps until flagship is in range. Yeah, I like this. This worked, this worked very nicely. But the thing is... I have chicken in the oven and uh, I think I need to go and go and eat. So uh, this will be a two-part final, where in the next one I'll take the real lads, lads stand up against that beast. And that is what I haven't been able to do uh, even uh, before I started recording. I uh, got once into this first stage and uh, <laughs> I, I fist pumped like mad when I destroyed the flagship and then that's not it! Damn game! But anyway, thanks for watching this one and uh, I'll see you on the, see you on the next one when uh, I try to try to do my best to uh, take down that one. And uh, the last fight is uh, is pretty close to insanity, so I don't expect to make it with this ship, but uh, we'll see. So uh, join me there. Take care. Bye bye.